Yes. So Sangamitra, what was our last class? Uh, it's on while loop. Yeah, so we have learned about all the for loop, while loop, right? Now it's our today's agenda is to learn, learn three things. What are those three things? I guess you know. Pass, break, continue. continue. And we have pass. Okay. So these three things we are going to learn in our today's session. Yeah, these are important things. Okay. So now first one, let's see what is a break break okay break and also continue then pass yes so now here to understand this first uh, first we'll understand with an example and then we'll write the definition okay so what we need to do here i just open uh ideally ideally now what i need to do Control N. This one also I'm maximizing it. I'll make this bigger configuration. Let me make it as 40. Here also it is okay. So now uh, already we know that uh, if I'm asking you to type 1 to 10, can we do that? One to ten, like one two. Uh -huh, by by using for loop. So for i in range. So range we are using for the numbers like one. It should be one comma eleven. And then I'm printing what print. What I'm going to print i. Yes. Yeah, so now yeah. let's save this dot py now we need to execute this f5 or uh, fn f5 so i got all my yes one to ten yes one to ten i got so now for example if i wanted to use break okay break and what we have while break while and and we have pass yes so now how to use this let's understand it perfectly step by step okay so now here if i am doing here if i am writing a condition now what will happen here you can able to hear me yeah i am here okay good so now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to give a condition okay So what is the condition I'm going to give here? Let's see. I'm not writing this print i. I'm just giving here condition if if i is i percentile to equal to equal to zero. If it is what? If it is even number, then what I'm giving? I'm giving break. Okay. And I'm printing here print i. Now let's see what happens here. What is happening here? It printed, it printed high. Yeah, it printed only one. Yes. Now, for example, here it is printed only one. Why it printed only one? See here. When for i in range one, one we got one percent tile to equal to equal to zero this condition is what is this condition is true no it is not true yeah. one is not even number so when the condition is not true this block will not execute and it will come here and it will print what i yeah it will print i one is i right one yeah after that again when the two comes so two this is what the condition becomes true at the when i becomes two two percentile two this is true whenever this is true when we are giving what break break means coming out of the loop coming out of the loop and it is printing what no, nothing is there to print only starting iteration it printed again three so once 
once we encounter the break, that's it. Other things will not be getting printed. Understood? Yeah, only if it is true, it will be printed. Yes. So now, but... for example, if I'm writing this print here, print, what I'm doing here, print I. Okay. And after print, if you write anything here, it will not print in the same here. Uh, it, it means what it is inside the if block. Okay. So now what we need to do here is break how this break is working. Let's check by this example. Now what I made, I make one simple change here. So what is the change here? I make. I'm printing I before break. Yeah. And if I'm printing the I after a break means what? Let's see. Here. Print I. Yes. Now let's see. Only two. So once when there is a break is encountered, this will not execute. Okay. After a break, whatever the statement will never execute. Why? Because already it is break, right? Yeah. Yeah. When there is a break, it will not execute. Yes, that is a that is the main point here. Okay. Understood. So bro, I got a doubt. If break was put uh, down the print again, one second. If before the break there are two prints, what will it print? Yeah. So this first of all, this one you understood, right? This will not get printed. Whatever we, are writing, whatever we are writing after the break, it will not get printed. Okay. Yes. Okay. This, Bro, this I want print. to put the break down before this print one. Okay. The this understood. Okay. Fine. Now, one thing is, what what I'm doing here is, I'm giving what, I'm just printing this. See so here, starting from starting, I'm going to explain you. So. What is the meaning of this i in range 1 to 11? It means what? All 1 to 10 it will print. Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. So what I'm doing? Print i. Yes. Now after this, I'm giving if condition. If i equal to equal to 4. Okay. If i is equal to equal to 4. Then what I'm giving, I'm applying break. Now, can you tell me what can be the output of this? One. I mean, One. I... whenever it is, uh, whenever it becomes four, at that time it will break, and the other uh, it will not continue with the other iterations. It will come out of the loop. So let me give you an example, like F N F five. So what are the numbers got printed? One, two, three, four. Yes. Because uh, we are giving break at the four. So up to one to four it printed. But after this four, nothing got printed. Why? Because we are giving break here. Break means what? It will stop the iteration. What yeah. it will do? It stops the iteration iteration and come out of the loop control will come out of the loop okay yeah yeah so i hope you understood now for example if i'm giving here five now what will be one to five we get up to one to five yeah up to one to five we got yes so with this I guess this is clear. So with this, what we can write here? What is the uh, what is for the break? What we can write? Uh, whatever in the loop after break, it will be stopped. It has there. to terminate terminate the loop with condition with a condition. Yes, first yeah. point. First point. We are applying one condition. It is helping us. It helps to terminate the loop with a condition. That is first point. 
and uh, what is the second point yes and it stops i mean it display till the condition is true till the condition is <laughs> okay yeah hmm. now for example in this i'm removing all this okay now here i'm what is the condition i given equal to equal to 5 i'm not giving that if i'm writing like this i percentile 2 equal to equal to 0 now what is the meaning of this even numbers right mm. if i is yeah this is for the even number and we are giving break so let's see what is the output here what what i got only one and two why you got one and two because we one is up two uh -huh. see why i got one means print is there so print i first it will print one one got printed after that that one percentile to equal to equal to zero is it true the condition is false so okay. when the condition is false again it will go here and it will uh, it will take bring the i in i two will be getting stored right so two yeah. is getting printed like this and uh, when this will become even at the time it is print what it is doing here it is we are applying break so whenever it becomes even then break is applied and even numbers are not getting printed okay. yes yeah yeah so now i hope you understood this now we'll see one more example of this uh, so if i equal to equal to 5 now break is done let's see what is the continue If I'm writing like this and continue, let's see what happens. F and F5. What happened? Did you observe anything? Uh, it gave from 1 to 10. Okay. 1 to 10. Yeah. Yes. It is giving what? 1 to 10. Yeah, 1 to 10. But what is the meaning of uh, continue? Continue means it will skip. What it does? Skip. Yeah, it skips. So now let's see. So after skipping, we need to also, what we need to do? We need to print it, right? So if condition I have given now, here. Yeah. So just exactly down of this if. Here. So what I need to do print what I'm printing here I yes so now who I'm just removing this part now let's see yes what happens can uh, you find it no it uh, just it? one to ten again are you sure one number is missing check it properly yeah five is missing uh so what it does if i is equal to equal to five whatever the condition is given it is skipping that okay yes so what is this continue will do it will skip the value skip the iteration sure. so everything it is printing but only the part is this part yeah, yeah? five Five is exception in this place. Yes, yes. Understood. Ah. So, wh what we can write for this? What we can if write here for continue? Continue is we can make some numbers exceptional. Continue. What is this continue will do? Make some so numbers. This continue. It skips gives the iteration yeah. based on condition yes yes based on condition now for example if i'm giving the condition here 
i even i percentile to equal to equal to zero so what i have given i wanted it to skip all the even numbers now let's see even number got skipped or not yeah. yes 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 even number got skipped now whatever is uh, like divisible by two that is got skipped now i wanted which is divisible by three that has to be skipped so can you tell me what is the divisible by three odd numbers will be skipped no no three right so three thirty a table like uh, two three 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 yeah. three three four no five five yes five no 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 six yeah yes so uh, 330 no I will skip pipe so can you tell me what are the numbers it will skip three six nine uh, so what what will be the output now uh, see here uh, three got skipped six got skipped nine got skipped mm -hmm. and remaining all we got yes yeah now I wanted five thirty eight on the other skip pawali. Then what I can write here and I percentile five equal to equal to zero. Now what are the things will be skipped? I pen and I put output lame sunni without five and ten. Yeah. Uh we got five and ten to yeah, everything it is it is printing everything right so but let's... we didn't get in three so how come it got in five no i'm checking it what's your doubt when we entered three we we skipped three numbers right yes yes Two, six and nine but when we entered five we didn't skip five and ten how is it possible yeah so see here when we are writing two conditions like for example if i'm doing i'm not taking this one i'm just going with only five here here it is five now now just check what happened five and ten got uh, yes so yeah. it means what what we have to use if i'm using and and means what and means see for example if i'm using and 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 i'm saying that i percentile three equal to equal to zero this is also equal to equal to zero okay so what is the meaning of this if this is true this one has this one also has to be true if both are true then only it will continue right means continue means it will skip but here both are not true like yeah, that is the yeah. reason like in this what we have to use let's use or ones so now one will be true that one will be printed uh, anyone 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 will be true means it will obey the rule the condition will be true either this is or this, this. So we got our uh, uh, like respected output right yeah all three with the three table and five table all got skipped yeah. yes yes three five six nine ten yes correct now now for example now uh, we are going to learn about pass so if i'm using here if and giving seven and here i'm not writing anything okay and uh, here i'm I'm giving what else? Print hi hi. Now will this will, will can 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 I run this code? See if I run this code, I will get what error? Hi. No, I'm getting error. Why this is? What is the error? Expected and indented block. So nothing is there in the if block. Okay. Yeah. that is the reason we are getting error so what i can give is i can give just pass 
so because of pass i can avoid the error yes yeah so just check it here i did not got anything because this condition is true now if i am giving the condition as false now what happens i will get printed yes because yeah. the condition condition is false we are using our pass pass means nothing like uh, to avoid the error we are giving just pass understood yeah 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 so what is this pass uh, yeah this is skips the iteration based on the condition uh, we apply apply right now pass means what is this pass pass this is used to avoid error if we are not using any statements in if if or any block yes yeah hmm so i hope you understood all this three yeah yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it clear yeah it is clear so i will give you one i will give is, you one more example uh -huh. in pass condition we can write anything in the place of i it will be executed place of i we i mean in play in print place we are entering high right yeah we can write anything so we can write continue skip to i mean Wait. yeah we can write it is depending on our condition we can write if you wanted to write a uh, continue here hello bro yes yes so if we print hi yeah here you can uh, write anything okay yeah so uh, we'll see one more example so that it will be a bit clear for you yeah. now what i need is uh, for example if i'm asking uh, how many jobs you want okay so uh, so let's see how many jobs how many jobs you want let's see so for that what i need to do is job job i'm writing job is equal to so i'm asking from a user so to ask from a user what i need to use input function yes okay int of input of how many jobs you want this is my question okay yes. now let's see let's execute this so it is asking me how many jobs you want yes so i need to enter something like five that's it so we have not written any code it is it is displaying this and then it is asking us to enter something we entered it it is a number only why number because here it is int yeah okay yes now now we have to give a condition what is the condition how many jobs you want so now let's see here if i am taking as one from one we are starting and i am using what while we can use any loop for loop so i'm just using while while i is less than equal to x sorry jobs yes so till this condition is true it will run the loop will run yes or no yeah yeah and then what i need to do i need to print jobs what i'm what i'm going to print print jobs yes jobs so how i have to print the jobs in this yeah print jobs jobs now after this 
what i need to do while condition while i have told you initialization condition checking and i need to also use what control flow updating it right so i yeah. is equal to i plus 1 yes yeah hmm. now after this i can also use outer loop in the outer loop what i can use like something some print statement i am giving for example here uh i got the job something like this wow i got the job yes now let's see how it how it runs so what what it is asking me how many jobs you want so for example 3 3 jobs i want so uh, how many jobs i got 3 yeah 3 so whatever you are giving it will be giving that much yes because this both we made it same right yeah yeah that is the reason now for example uh, up to here you understood yeah clear it is yeah clear okay now for example uh, we have we have very less limited jobs limited jobs available jobs yeah available yeah. jobs jobs available jobs so how many jobs are available uh, just assume that five jobs are available how many jobs only five jobs are available okay so now what happens here is what i'm going to do here is i'm going to apply my break statement so what it is here after this what i'm going to do here after while i'm giving one condition if i whatever the i is there if i is greater than what for what it is greater than available jobs available jobs yes if it is greater than available jobs yeah then what we are doing we are giving applying what break yeah yes yes because what we have entered we entered for example a 10 or we have entered just 5 Yeah. Or four, four we have entered. So how many jobs I want? I want four jobs, but availability is only three jobs. Then how it will be? We cannot process, right? Yes. So this is what the condition in the while loop. We are giving one condition. What is the condition? If I is greater than available jobs. Yes. For example, available job is what five. If I is six, yes. So this is greater than available jobs. Job five, available yeah. job five. But how come I will be more six? So it means what? It will stop. So to stop, what we have to use? Break. We have to end the loop. Yes. Yeah. So let's see. it is asking how many jobs you want so for example i have i am writing like i want uh, seven jobs how many i got 1 2 3 4 5 only five i got why because <laughs> yeah like it is something like a uh, vending machine na like uh, whatever this available in the, uh, for example uh, in our uh, in our Like uh, we wanted to eat more dosas, ten dosas we wanted to eat, but available availability like how many dosas are cooked? It is only three dosas are cooked, so only three I can give. Our mom can provide, right? Yes. So in this case, we can uh, make use of what break statement. So one, two, three, four, five. Now once again, I am executing this. This time I wanted three. Three I wanted, and I got three jobs. Because yes. it is less than available, yeah. 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 So I hope you understood this application. I wanted you to try this by seeing the video. Yeah, definitely. So that uh, you will understand it better. And we can also we can also keep a message here. One message. 
what we can write like print no jobs available if this condition is true no jobs are available or we can say that limit is you have caused your limit so sometimes it happens right whenever we are we do the transactions we say that our limit has been done yeah so let's see so if i want 10 jobs so it is giving me only 5 1 2 3 4 5 you have crossed your limit yes mm. yes so here you can write anything like buy no so i guess now you understood here we can write we are we are giving what break break means what when the condition is true it is coming out of the loop yes hmm. yes so i guess uh, you, i have explained you about uh, continue also with examples break also yes yeah yeah so uh, for a pass we'll see one more example for the pa pass like for i in range from 1 comma 10 okay now you have to tell me what can be the output of this so no i am get number uh, if if i am giving i percentile 2 is not equal to 0 here i am writing out pass else print what i am printing i and then finally i am closing it with a bye bye now what can the output can you guess uh two what is the if condition we are writing we are writing the if condition for odd numbers print i if i percentile to equal to equal to 0 means that is odd but here not equal to 0 so yeah. odd odd number we are writing the condition if it is true it will not print anything yeah. yes so it will go with the another option as part so i will show you the out output here see what i got Two, four, eight, and ten. Because this condition is for what odd number. For odd number, we are not printing anything. Yes. Yeah. But for else, we are printing. That is the reason we are getting what even number. If it is odd number, then else part will print even number for sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is about what pass. so with this we are done with the what are the things we are done pass continue and break so now what what i'm saying here is uh, i have uploaded just now one video i wanted you to just go through it and find out the mistake of it what is the mistake i have made here this is, this is a strong number so in this see by seeing this uh, only you can understand here there is uh, there is a mistake comment if you find it okay sangamitra yeah so small mistake that you need to find out and check what is the mistake yeah definitely okay so that's it i'm just stopping the record